guys, it's the Fat Red. Um, this is obviously not a new song. A uh, new song will be out on June 3rd. This is a Q&A and you guys sent me a lot of questions on Facebook and on Twitter. And here are my answers. I'm from Göttingen, a small university town in Germany. I lived in Munich and in Los Angeles for quite a while, but in 2013 I moved back to my hometown here, in a, to a small village in the south of Göttingen. My real name is Christian Friedrich Johannes Brückner, um, but you can call me Chris. I'm 36 years old still, um, because my birthday is June 1st, um, so pretty soon, so I'm almost 37. That would be Augustina Hell from Munich. Probably in our next life, um, because in this life I'm already married. There is a story behind it. When I was at school, I was smaller than everybody else, like really short. And when you're so small and you're a boy, because you know boys fight, you easily get bullied. So I had two options. Um, either I could just avoid any conflict or I could become really aggressive, which was what I did. And I started doing Kung Fu to, to, to defend myself. And so people started calling me Splinter, like the master of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, but soon they discovered that Splinter is not insulting enough, you know, you know, nicknames have to be insulting at, at school. And so they just called me the Rat. And yeah, when I started playing online games, um, I picked up that name and called myself the Fat Rat. And yeah, the name sticks with me. So when I started making music, I used the same name and I still have it. I started really young. I was punching the piano sitting on my mother's lap when I was like one year old. And I started playing flute when I was four and I started really learning the piano when I was six. Yes, actually well, I was pretty good at music in school. Um, problem was it wasn't the only thing that I was good in school. I really sucked in all the rest. I was the worst in class. Originally, when I was 15 or 60 years old, I wanted to become a conductor. Um, but soon I realized that it wasn't creative enough for me. Um, because you only get to conduct music usually that other people already wrote. Uh, so I wasn't sure what to do. Um, and when it was, I think in 2001, a friend of mine had a magazine about music production. And so I decided to do that and I spent all the money that I had saved to buy my first car. I spent all that money on... Uh, studio equipment because you couldn't just produce with software like you can do today and yeah that's how I started. I produced a lot of music already. Um, I produced background music for television and radio commercials, uh, ringtones that were on the mobile phone when you bought them and of course I produced um, for other artists. I worked with a lot of art artists in the studio and also ghost produced for some other DJs. Yeah, a lot of different stuff. I'd probably be a video game designer of some sort because yeah, I like video games and I like sitting in front of a computer the whole day and doing creative stuff. Oh, um, I played a show once with James Egbert and he was on stage after me, so he already started and he had this build up and I was getting my equipment off stage and everybody was getting crazy and ready to jump and right before the drop I accidentally unplugged his player or whatever so everything went quiet and everybody saw that I was doing that, a few hundred people and that was quite embarrassing. I'd say 50-50 and pretty extreme, like 50% quite happy and 50% more depressive. Uh, sometimes, yes. I mean, sometimes I'm really focused on making music and I don't play for a few weeks. Um, but right now I love uh, Warhammer Total War, it's really fun. 
I like to do sports, um, go to the gym, running. Um, like I mentioned already, I like video games. And of course, I love uh, spending time with my family, with my wife, with my little daughter. She's 15 months old now. And I play the piano. Um, I sometimes write little piano pieces. Um, yeah, that's, that's how I, what I do besides making music. I do make more music. I was on holiday once and there was a girl standing next to the swimming pool and she was like, oh, I lost my sunglasses in the swimming pool. And I was like, I was drunk, really drunk. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna rescue them. And I jumped into the pool and the pool was only that deep. And I hit my chin against the bottom of the pool. And I mean, you can easily break your neck or you can die doing that. Um, yeah, that was pretty stupid. I mean, I survived and I found the, the glasses. Um, but I was all covered in blood, um, with, in my, with my own blood. And yeah, the guy, the, the girl was slightly disgusted when I gave her back her glasses. I usually start by spinning around a lot of ideas. Um, and that can take pretty long. Like for weeks I just try some, try different stuff until I find something that I really like. And it can be a melody, drum groove, just...